Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here with Automation Links. Today I'm talking about live chat and what's really crazy, this is my second time filming this because somebody decided to call me in the middle. So I wanna bring up live chat and how it can benefit your business, get you more clients, and really grow, connect, build better relationships with those customers. If you stick with me to the end, I will give you my relationship first branding. It's the checklist, PDF, and the full guide on how, how to build better relationships with anyone that comes to your site or your social media pages. One of the most important things I've ever done. So stick with me to the end for that. Today I wanna to go over live chats. If you already have it set up on your website, good job, but we can actually keep making it better. If you don't have it set up on your site yet, we need to get that set up. Make sure you send me a message, ask me to help you on my live chat or my messenger chat, and I'll help you get the live chat set up right away. So number one, something really cool you can do is you can set up automated triggers. On those triggers, when somebody comes to your homepage or your product page, it can automatically pop up and welcome them, specific to what they're visiting. As an example, somebody comes to my homepage, pops up, thank you for visiting my website. Is there any questions I can answer for you? If you go to my product page or my website page, if you're interested in a website, pops right up. Do you have any questions about our website pricing? So you can have that triggered specific for the customer's needs, and that's really key. So anyone that comes to your page, maybe your services page, it can pop up and say, do you have any questions about our services? Number two, draw them a map. Just like I did a second ago, I drew you a map. If you need help setting up live chat, go to my website, start a chat, send me a Facebook message via my chat. Tell them where to go. Tell them to start a chat with you. People might not notice it, so tell them about it. Any videos you do, start a chat with me. Uh, anything, any questions, after somebody, after somebody fills out a form on your site and you thank them, start a chat if you have any questions. One of our uh, highest performing clients, they have a chat in their emails. So as soon as the email's done, at the end of the email, start a chat with us and we'll be more than happy to help and answer those questions for you. Number three is the follow-up. After somebody starts a chat, you gotta follow up with them. So we do this a couple different ways. If we have the Messenger, Facebook Messenger, live chat on your site, you gotta go back every week and follow up with that person to see if they are interested. If they don't sign up, you gotta keep following up with them. That's one of the best things about the Messenger chat on your site. You can follow up with them even after they leave the site. Now, if you're a little bit more, uh, if you're faster at responding and you want more customers from the chat, we'll just do a normal live chat like we have on our site. And that way, you can respond back right away and then if they have to give you their name, email, and phone number so you can get a hold of them later on. So make sure we connect that with your mailer. So as an example, starts a live chat with me, gives me their name and email, automatically goes to my MailChimp, and then I can continue following up with them. So just like I promised you guys, I will help you with this. Make sure you start a chat, uh, go to the, my Facebook Messenger, uh, reach out to me, you know plenty of ways, and I'm gonna include my Relationship First branding link Make sure you grab that. That way you can start building real relationships with anybody that reaches out to you online via your brand. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day.